that video. This one time, it's part three. Let's get into it. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. Uh -oh. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Episode 2, part 3. Haas lied to herself. We're honest. 54% chose duck. 30%, uh, 54 of okay, yeah. Um, refused again. 52% that's good. Doug or Carly? Chose Carly. Oh. Oh, wait to this. Okay. Well, let's play episode two. Let's play. Previously on The Walking Dead, I'll mute the microphone every time. You, every time, uh. Like one of these comes on, okay? On the walking dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got oh, another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. 
I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. We're back. Three months, staying. We still have the axe. I'm kidding. Ooh. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rat. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. We went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Yeah. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I, I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed. <sighs> Someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, yeah. Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? No Seems idea. like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Bird. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Go, go, go. Let's hope it's not Kenny. I don't want Kenny to die. He's the best man. Right. Kenny's awesome. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, god damn it, get, get it off me. Oh my god. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. 
We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Leave us fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, Mike, get me I... out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep well, those walkers off oh, of me. Oh, my God. Um... Please, we can't just leave him like this. Please, no, 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 no. Please, no, no, no. Please, no, I'm sorry. Oh, God. I'm trying to get the chain. I'm to cut you out. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Okay. Ah. 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 has to be now. Ah. Ah. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg! Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go! Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, the hell what the hell? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else, just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. I agree. The only reason you're here Mark. is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. 
Welcome to the family, kid. Come over oh, here and see family. what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You are- Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions oh, to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yo, man. I'm sorry, I do not like them. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Oh, crap. Four, oh, four for ten. Okay, one twenty with Mark. Uh, oh my god. Talk to her first. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Yeah. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Yeah, no problem. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Well, I hope he survives. He looked pretty sick. Not both, but... Oh, uh, you guys, I know what you mean. <laughs> here, Clem. You need something to eat. Mm hmm Here. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? So I got three more. You're getting one, I know that. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Okay. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Okay, well, you're good then. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. 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 When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Oh, I feel bad for him. 
So I got two. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Yeah. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, Screw that you. means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Okay, I got one more. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, probably. Mm. No, no, I. Kenny, you're my favorite. No, not you. You in the back. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, yeah, I gave him something. And I truly appreciate you taking care of us, Lee. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. <sighs> yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Oh, shut up. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What do you throw? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, shit. I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? You can stay. Oh my god, whoa, I'm glitching out. Oh crap. Whoa, what happened? Everything just glitched out. Shit, Kaja! The axe! Hurry! Move, move! Shit, it's stuck! Oh, 
You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's oh, not, not the bite, bite that does it. Uh... You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. No. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. But not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. <laughs> because of your past. Okay. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't yep. have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Yeah, you guys seem legit. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there it's fighting each other Lewis. these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Ten. Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for, 
Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pumping this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it there's up. There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. You look crazy. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mommy. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John <laughs> Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks uh, no to thanks. help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. <clears throat> Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. Okay. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing the whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe, but is it safe enough for the kids? Um. I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Yeah. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Mm -hmm. 
So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Oh, All okay. Right. Keep me posted. Oh, I can barely see. Okay, there. Okay. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks okay. like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay. Cornfields are never good usually. There, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Okay, okay. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Okay. Ooh. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Fucking man. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Okay, let's go fix the same, I guess. Good, but I need some rope. Oh, great. Maybe up there. Check up there in that box, maybe. Shoe bucket. Oh, I'll be choosing you then. Or rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. <sighs> this dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. 
You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Okay, I'm gonna go home now. Bye. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully Hi. our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help yeah. out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, um. I guess I see. Hey, I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. What? No, I think it's good. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cows is pretty important. Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the deadies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. Oh, uh, something suspicious is happening. Ah, there'll be plenty of time for all that stuff later, after we go fix up the fence. Okay. Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. OMG. We're gonna die out here. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. <laughs> Sorry, man, it just, it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. <sighs> that guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling them up. Ew. There's one. An arrow. Ugh. <sighs> Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Andy said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? 
Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many and drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Okay, um... right into its hands. I think they fused together. That's... You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. One more. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. Uh... He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we okay. get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Something bad is going to happen. Yep, something bad is going to happen. I bet. No, I bet the fence is going to turn on. It's going to turn on. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh! I knew it. What the hell? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Get on your fuck! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! It's stuck. Over there! Come on now! Did you really think you'd fuck with that? Copying me. We don't know you. Hurry up. Okay, can we get that? Go. Give us the food. Shit, something's still blocking it. I see ya. Um. Lee, get back here. Hey, let's talk this out. That. Come on. We can, this <laughs> we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, that hurts. What about our arrangement? Okay, you're, probably, you're gonna survive. This is an area. You pull it out and you need to catch it up. Okay. Okay, we, we get you got one of us. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. We're not your enemy! Fuck with that! Why do they call it... Uh, they say zombie. They say zombie. Like, call zombie or something. But it's actually walkers. They call it walkers. I don't know. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? 
Yeah, that's this last one. Okay. Oh, water. oh my god. I'm scared the cat on me. Okay, I'm gonna pull the arrow out and then freaking stab it with it. Ew. You okay? Yeah. Bear. Come on. Okay, I thought. Gate's right there. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Lee, what's wrong? Safe. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Oh, no, he's not. They have no right being out here. Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be all right with the time. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away You're with this. You know sketchy. where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Yeah. What we need to do is find a way Except to get a whole group shopping. out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Oh. Hey, kid, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. I know I am. Okay. I'm gonna go check out this place. Okay. Oh. Let's go in here. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. If there's not enough room oh. in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Okay, I'm not going in there then. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Won't arrows be able to penetrate through since it's just hay? Ah, uh, wait, never mind. It probably wouldn't. Mm. 
I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fine. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Oh, that was cool, man. How are you holding up, Clementine? Okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Haw, haw. Oh, I guess we're gonna go talk to him. Fellas, how you feeling, mate? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Gotta be close. Okay. Here. No one's here. I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit. I see a flower Stone. thing in there. Nothing. 
empty. That looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. That looks pretty new. Anybody oh. inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily know. keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Yeah, I'll go check out the tent. Down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh gosh, it's creepy. Look. It's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill no. you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want, and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Shit. What the hell'd you do that for? We had a deal with them. You heard her? She was too far gone. She was a fucking freak show. You didn't have to kill her. Okay. I mean, I know she was crazy. <laughs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Let's hope so. 
Hit the crossbow. Yeah. Come on. Jake Clementine's hat, man. Wow. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Yeah. What? You were a madman back there. Uh, Took that crazy bitch down. Yeah, no kidding. You're back! What happened? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go take a bathroom break. And we're back. Let's just, just this. Okay, there. Let's continue. What happened? Lee took care of it. This yeah. isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it's it up okay. for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Oh my god. Let's go, Kenny. Just kill her. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. Yeah. And Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. They got to have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And okay. thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Yes. Why would she shut that? That's weird. Okay. Whoa. Okay, yeah, let's go check out. Oh, it's dark in here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Hey, 
It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Cool. What's here? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on okay, this I trust you. right now. How about I trust you? you. What about Clem? I, I trust you, Kenny. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smashed the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Uh, it looks like a lock. Wait, four. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. <laughs> Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. I need somebody to break the lock. Ah, my mic's tied with my controller somehow. <laughs> Distract Andy. Ooh, wait. First, let me see. There has to be something here. Ooh, I see. Empty. Okay, back. We will go over here and try this one. We just need to look for something. Ooh, what's that? Oh. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. <sighs> Ooh, smells pretty foul. What the heck is that? It's a feeding trough. Okay. Hold up, Kenny. Some hay. I couldn't see, so I wanted to actually. Maybe 
it's this one. Some wood. Just some fence posts. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, turn off the generator. Oh, first I want to give you your hat. You. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Yes, she is, man. Hope she doesn't die. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! Yeah. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Uh-oh. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well... Thanks for finding my hat. You're no welcome, problem. Clint. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Hey there, Andy. Yep. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. <laughs> Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Yes. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Okay, so now they oh I should find something first, should have. False alarm. I'm back. Oh crap. Okay. Um Is it day daytime again? I swear if it's daytime. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, okay, I want to use this gate. Maybe something with the generator. Yeah. Please, no one catch me. I guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Access panel. Turn around, he's right there. Oh. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. <coughs> <coughs> Crap. So I need a screwdriver. Let's go look in there. Yes. 
Okay, right. There are two bombs. Got a screwdriver too. I don't know how to use a belt for it. Something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Oh, please. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Keep that thing off. Oh my God, I'm so nervous right now. Please don't be anyone. Please don't be anyone behind me. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idiot brother. Uh, hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you are wow. an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Something's happening. Mind Bad. if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Okay, first I want to talk to Kenny. You know, go back in here. Help! <laughs> what? Oh, so I have to go in that room. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Where the hell is Mark? Oh. But Brenda said he was up here resting.
Feels like there's a storm coming. Uh, farm books, cookbooks. What? Nothing out of the ordinary here. Too well, I know. Well, there's nothing else I can actually do, do in this room. No. Darkness. What the hell? That's good to have me. Do they need so much morphine for? Candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Oh, okay. Back. I know something for coming from this room. Wait, I see this. <sighs> I see something right here. Right here. Where the hell is Mark? Oh. But Brenda said he was up here resting. Uh, farm books, cookbooks. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Maybe I need to get something. So I can't grab any of this. Ooh, power cord. Huh, where is that cord going? Bookshelf, I knew it. It's bookshelf. <sighs> Sorry, <sighs> I just take deep breaths sometimes. Who <sighs> don't heard that? It's one way to hide a door. Oh my god, no. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Oh, oh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Mark, come on. Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quite what is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. Oh, he would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. 
We think we can put that meat to bed. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Yeah, it is. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots oh of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking what? Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking out don't of come here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Oh my god, Lee? no. Tear you apart! Oh my god, no, Mark. Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm yes. scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention so I can fucking kill them. Okay. Guess your new uh. girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You. you refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge, and you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. Yeah. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Please settle down! Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads off them and make you swallow them! Come on, try yourself! Okay. Um. There's Marlis on the way. Let us out now. Boxes, if you want to live, that is not gonna they help. They got caught you, Duck Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. They're not gonna open the door. <sighs> you, you think a fucking apocalypse? I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Keep him from coming back. No! 
God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Yes, he is. Maybe you're right. No, God damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. No, fine, Remember kill him. what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. You're right, Kenny. Let's get you this over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! Oh, no. No! No, no, no! Let go of me! Come on. No! Please! Why me? Lily said he wasn't dead. He was. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about you walkie talking? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? Yeah. To the I'm vent, I think. On it. <clears throat> you, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. A coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. It's good. It's not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Okay. Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. He probably has a coin. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about... about what you did? For your own sake. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor end, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your... Permission. Do what you have to do. <sighs> oh boy. Uh, this is 
Uh, Any idea uh, which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! <sighs> Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. Oh, that's exactly he said he had 60 cents. I don't get how you can do that for coin. Oh, I want to see this. Oh! You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay. It's not coming off that way. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Go quickly. I'm scared. You'll okay. be fine as long as you move fast enough. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Can I play this Clement Clementine? Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. Got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. people. Sick bastards. All of them. Mm. Oh God, what's wrong with these people? Why well, I have a taser instead. Maybe I shouldn't have sent them and tied them there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Oh, it's a stem down there. Come through here and okay. Bear trap that is. Don't go near there. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Stay close. Okay, I want to taser him.
dead. What are you doing outside the barn? Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Well, sitting out in the rain at the damn year. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick each one to keep Not to kill, but no meat on the trail. He's inside. He's uh, so I know, Mother. This is my favorite part, too. When I let one think they can just well, walk right out. Yeah, it doesn't know what I'm doing. He's got a long ass. Stop him. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought, I thought it was Kenny. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Cat! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. Understand now, don't you? He can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Do it then. I know you can. I see it. Ah! This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you! Fuck you, Lee. You and Kenny murder my dad, but you leave this piece of shit alive? Fuck you, guys. Oh, God! Don't hurt him! That's Katja! Please, no! Billy, please. Keep her safe. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, man. This is freaking crazy. Kenny. Oh no, don't your fences. Oh, okay. Who's that? <gasps> yes, Carly. 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 Me? Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still Hope got so. Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Oh, yeah, I will. I will try. I will. Oh, I don't have any oh, weapon no. in me. I'm gonna take the boy. Take the no, please don't take my boy. Please go, woman. Stand 
Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. So danger. Put the gun down. changes like before it was O to square so I put square and then it was What you do it doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Stay back. Don't do anything. Don't <sighs> let her go, Brenda. Please listen to him. So if you picked the wrong answer, okay. Mm. The truth is, she doesn't have the Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. 
I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Come on, Mark. Eat her. I'm glad Mark turned into a zombie now. Stay back! Not really Don't good. do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to him. I'll do it! Please. Enough. I can't feel bad and kind of don't feel bad. He's had enough. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. Oh, look at him. It's over. Fuck you. Judy, Daddy, Mama, get out here! Judy, you're all fucked! <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Here and finish this thing! One got bitten. One in a, 
got hit in the bear's trap, and the other one just got fried. Okay, I think we're done here. We can't move. Okay, uh, okay. 